Welcome to Drinking with Craig and Roger. I'm Roger. And I'm Craig. And we are raiding the vaults uh, this week. <laughs> We're taking some of our oldest footage, nearly two and a half years old at this time, uh, that we shot and we, we wanted to try to get it out when the products were very recent and eh, it wasn't it just didn't eh, we weren't for that happy with it and it other things got edited before it and then what do you know two and a half years later, later here we are <laughs> and you know the nice thing about it is these are two cast strength whiskeys which are very intense to the taste mm -hmm. and they're not that expensive either so they're good values yeah, yeah, definitely recommend them, but it's a little different because we don't do many cask drink things on the show, so, you know, it's nice to check it out, and uh, they're still obviously available. Uh, the Elijah Craig is in, eh, you'll see. Here we go. Check it out. <laughs> I noticed you have two bottles in front of me here. Yes, I wanted to let you try these. These are two of what I think are right up there as some of the best releases this year. And I know you, you also don't have a lot of cask strength, barrel strength stuff too often. So uh, I think these will be interesting for you also. We have the Elijah Craig uh, Barrel Proof. Uh, this is the B520 batch. So second one of the year, uh, put out in May of 2020. Very good. And then the fairly new Wild Turkey Rare Breed Rye. Uh, so uh, this is getting a lot of hype and talk right now and they have just barely started to sell it in our state but a friend of mine brought me back one when he went to Kentucky uh, so I'm excited to have it and uh, we should start getting into them. I think so. So let's start with the Rare Breed Rye. Alright. So this one is a um, supposedly it's a blend of four, six and eight year old rye. And uh, it is just bursting with flavor, in my opinion. I don't know what else needs to be said about it. Barrel proof. Uh, I think that Wild Turkey distills at lower proof uh, than a lot of other distilleries. So you just get more uh, flavor from their barrel proof things versus heat um, that you might get with some that are a little stronger. So the rare breed rye is, uh, let's see. 56.1%, so 112 proof. So, you know, it's up there, but it's not gonna blow your head off by any means. Okay, let's give it a try. My only little anecdote with Wild Turkey was mm. when Ellen and I um, went to the distillery, maybe mm, 15 years ago. Okay. They were distilling rye. They were distilling rye for a couple days out of the year. I said, oh, right. really? And they said, yeah, we've increased it a lot. You know, not too long ago, we only distilled rye one day out of the year. <laughs> One day out of the year. Amazing. Now they're, they've kicked it up for sure because oh, rye sure. is so much more popular now. Well, nice yeah, clean smell. Very rich. With the, uh, to me I get just a lot of like dates, raisins, kind of fruity mm, nose. Spicy. Mm-hmm, some spice, for sure. Yeah, it's almost like, it's like Christmassy. You know, this is gonna be a great winter whiskey. It's a it's very, it's like a fruitcake. Oh boy. Certainly intense. Mm -hmm. But not, not um, alcohol heavy to me at no. all. It's just a lot, an intense flavor. Wow, that's very good. What are you getting? Well, there's a round, round caramel taste mm -hmm. in, in it. Um, I'm trying to identify the, the after the finish and uh, I got a little bit of spice there floating on top of the caramel that I taste. Mm. I'm just getting lots of, again, more with those fruity apricots, um, grapes, raisins, you know, some sort of that kind of stuff. Fruit yeah. Area. Um, Hmm. The aftertaste is good. It has a long finish. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, mm. what it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, oh, and this is uh, comes in at about 65 bucks a bottle. At 112, it's pretty intense. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's really, really rich. Really rich. We, uh, I did a tasting with some friends where when I first tried it. Uh, I think we tried. Mm, 
15 different whiskeys that night. And this was the, the winner for me. It stuck out because we'll go from lowest proof to, to highest. And uh, by the time we got up to this, I mean, it just, boy, it cut through, cut through my palate like a knife. I was like, whoa, I was, I was blown away. Okay. Forgot to look at the flakes. Yep, right there at the top. Oh, nutmeg, I think, is what I taste in it. Nutmeg. Yes, I could see that. And baking spices, you know. Yeah, to me, it tastes like a yeah, like a winter spice cake, fruit cake type of thing. That's very The nice. legs, they don't go into, there's not a lot of individual strands. It's like one thick globule that just kind of slowly, slowly moves down, down yeah. altogether. Yes. <laughs> well, it's... Mm. Goodness gracious, it's good. All right. What do you think? What's your assessment? What are, you, are you liking it? Oh, I think so. I I think we can recommend it. I definitely highly recommend it. If you're looking for anything like this, I mean, wow, this is killer stuff. I mean, and, I mean, you, know, the, the, you know, maybe 65 uh, a bottle, but uh, if you want to bring it down to around 90 to 80 proof, mm -hmm. you're going to end up with about two bottles. Not that much. Oh, you'd be surprised how much it, you, you put in there to get it down. But yeah, you'd get at least a bottle and a half out of it, so that brings okay. the cost down, you know, you know, to like. A yeah, I mean, that's it. another thing with the barrel-proof stuff. You're getting more alcohol in your bottle than you would otherwise. So not you know, just alcohol. Well, yes, I know, I know. It's I'm just the, saying. All the other favorite flavor factors. Oh, absolutely. Well, that's the whole reason that you buy it. I'm just saying, if you're looking at the price on these kind of things versus. A more a, a lower proof bottling that's cheaper. It's, it's not that you're nest. You're, you're actually getting more in this bottle than you would with oh, yeah. the others. So you know, I think that this is well priced. It's not. I wouldn't call this a bargain per se. Uh, no, it's, it's not priced in bargain territory, but I think it's very well priced for how good it is. Yeah, for sure. But uh, oh, one thing I meant to mention. Um, so people can get a little carried away with ages, but if anybody didn't know, rye whiskey doesn't, it matures faster. So it doesn't need to be aged as long as uh, corn, you know, uh, bourbon, that kind of stuff. So this, whereas the normal uh, rare breed is a blend of six to eight year, they'll throw in some of the younger stuff in here because the rye just mature quicker. Well, it also depends on where it is in the, uh, the warehouse. And, uh, you know, there are sweet spots where the whiskey ages faster than in other places. And right. the, the uh, distillery staff know them. And so they're probably pretty mature four-year-olds. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, uh, as far as that goes, uh, remember, we, killer. we were just a little while ago uh, tasting that McCormick four-year-old, and mm -hmm. it was pretty mild. It didn't yeah. aged okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, mm -hmm. you know, so it wasn't rough or anything. So no. four four years is okay for a bourbon, you know, if it it's can managed be. well. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then we'll get another delicious pour. This is the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. As I mentioned, this is the B520 batch. Uh, I'm a big fan. This is the first of uh, this series that I've tried. So, um, you know, they come out with three of them a year. Uh, they come out in January, May, and September. And they have just released the September batch here, but I don't have one yet. No, no. It has been in the barrel 12 years. Yes, it has a 12 year age statement on it. So, And its proof is? It is 127.2 proof. So we're at 63% alcohol. It's a big boy. Yeah. Okay. That's for that's sure. Now, regular uh, Elijah Craig small batch. Have you had it? Have you, you any time recently? I've had it, uh, and I was just favorably impressed with it. I like it. Yeah, Elijah Craig is it's good stuff. So this is just amped up, like way amped up. Oh wow! <laughs> nuts. I smell. I smell nuts right at the top of it. Yeah. 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 It's very sweet. It's sort of like a pecan. Mm -hmm. Pecan. Mm -hmm. Right, right at the front of the nose. And there's a, it's a sweetness too beyond, beyond oh, yeah. the, the nuts. Yeah, it must be the malty flavor. Mm. Oh. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Intense. <laughs> yeah. 
made it intense. Yeah, the, the nose pretty much tells you everything you're going to taste when you when you mm -hmm. get to it. If, if you're, it carries over. Oh yeah, it's. I, I, I taste the pecans and I taste the, the malt sweetness in it. Um, wow. Mm. Uh, there's a little oh, bit yeah. of cinnamon. So, so maybe, yeah, a little, a little something else in there. Oh yeah. It's got some nice wood, woodiness to it from that, from that um, aging. I think, you know, oh, yeah. not in, a, not in, a, in a, any kind of bitter, oh, unpleasant no, no, way no, at all. No. Really nice character. Just a tip for Man. anybody who's getting is new to mm -hmm. to tasting straight whiskey. Mm -hmm. Okay, just at first, try letting your tongue touch the whiskey. Don't try and take a sip. Just let your tongue mm. touch it. Mm -hmm and then taste it and that usually works out pretty well because hmm. you 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 shouldn't do like what you see those guys do in the movie where they get a shot and they just throw it straight down no especially with anything good wow it's just <clears throat> so good the nose the flavor it's pretty amazing now I can see distinct lines in these legs. Yes, this one does break up into separate strands that, of course, go all the way to the top. But uh, okay, now I can see here that the Craig is darker in the glass. Yes, yeah, it's that definitely one. darker for sure. So, it's it's man, it's killer stuff. Good stuff. Which of these do you prefer? If you if you could only buy one because they're about the same price. You're in the store, you're gonna pick one up. Is it a mood thing or, or, or do you prefer one of these over the other? I think I think I probably would get the Craig, but I probably would put a little, little water mm -hmm. in one. But it, cause it's a little hard to drink at that proof. Do you wanna try it with a little water? Um, no, it's okay. I think I think I know what's gonna They're happen. both good on their own. They're both good. And they'll both hold up to water. Oh yeah, absolutely. So, mm -hmm. excellent choices. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wonderful taste. Yeah. I'm loving it. We thank you for watching us. Mm -hmm. uh, do subscribe to the channel, and yep. we'll be happy to respond to any comments you have. Let us know what you think of these and what you think of the videos. We'll see you guys later. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.